Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Zig. I do beauty and lifestyle videos here on YouTube, so make sure you subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss a video. Today, you've seen the title, I am a straight haired natural now. Do you know what? This video, I don't want it to be super long, but I think it will be because it's actually about way more than hair, way more than hair. And I think the next few videos are kind of gonna be on that basis. I'm changing everything up when it comes to YouTube at least, because in my opinion, just to touch on it to begin with, like me and you guys are friends and that's what made YouTube popular, relatability and just chatting and honesty and feeling like, yeah, you were just listening to someone that was like you, average, we're average out here and that's nice um, because that's real. So yeah, I, that sounds so weird to say when I'm talking about hair, but here we go. Everybody bloody remembers. I damaged my hair and I'm sorry to keep going on about it. But I looked, October 2018, I put out a video called I Hate My Natural Hair. It was a lot like this, I was chatting. I was about four months into that kind of damage recovery process. Funnily enough, straight after that, I put in so much effort in my hair. I actually recovered my hair really, really bloody well, to the point that I'm actually gonna do a video on exactly what I did because my hair looked fantastic. Looks, actually, because I still follow a lot of that method and a lot of the kind of products um, that I did when I was recovering my hair to this day. But obviously there's been a shift. Um, so yeah, that was the end of 2018, so I covered it all the way through 2019. A lot of stuff seems to happen in May. So I damaged my hair May 2018. I recovered it by May 2019. That same May 2019, the following things happen. I moved, I moved in with Alex's parents, both of us have, to save money for our wedding and for a house. Um, I don't have the luxury of having my parents here, as a lot of you know. Then also, tell me why I decided to start a new career. <laughs> it's a blessing, definitely, but I started a new career. I'm also studying at uni. From May 2019 onwards, that's what my kind of life has been like, and that's the kind of change. And because of that, you know, I'm sharing a house with so many other people, and quite frankly, I just don't find it fair if I was to just go in the shower, shower and wash my hair, and then I come out, slather my hair and conditioner 20 minutes, then go back in the shower, and then also on top of that, my new career means I wake up at six in the morning, I come home about half six in the evening. I'm tired, man. <laughs> I'm tired. Hasn't really been as easy for me with this lifestyle change. Kudos to any of you guys out here with like big families and kids and all that that are still managing to do it. Seriously. Seriously. And here's some other facts that I have to face. I can't cornrow, I can't braid. And I can just about flat twist, but not like effectively. And I know I'm not the only one. I know that there's like a secret club of us that don't know how to braid or cornrow. And I'm telling you now, come on, we, we, need, we need to sort that out. We need to learn. For the sake, not only of me, but like, my future children, I have to and will learn to cornrow. And I'm telling you, if you can't either, come on. All of those things kind of combined. I got to January of this year, 2020, and I was just feeling so fed up. I couldn't keep up. I, do you know what, it wasn't fed up. I was frustrated that I couldn't keep up and juggle and balance everything the way that I wanted to. YouTube fell off, like everything did. And my friend, God bless her, saw my struggles and was like, I am going to put your hair in box braids for you. And that's what the last video you would have seen. Um, my hair was in box braids from February up until April, beginning of April. Was it beginning of April? Must have been. When was Easter? It was just before, just uh, before Easter. So yeah, around January anyway, I started to kind of look into 
new regimens because I knew that, as I said, my current situations, I can't keep doing the same thing that I was doing. So I was looking at other people and their regimens and seeing what I could pinch. And there's an amazing, amazing Instagrammer blogger called Hairscapades. I'm gonna leave everything in the description box. Everything that I refer to in this video will be down there. She's got incredible, long, thick, luscious, gray ombre hair, because she's been growing out her grays, it's gorgeous. And she regularly uses heat on her hair. Not high amounts of heat, like she uses a hair straightener, she uses a blow dryer, but she's not using it in excess and very high amounts. She'll like straighten her hair and then she'll put it up in a bun for the month. You know, that's what she's doing. So then I looked at her and then I found another video, I can't remember the name of it, I'll find it and put it down below on YouTube where she wears her hair curly, she's not a straight hair natural, but she was talking about the benefits of wearing your hair straight as a natural. And that, along with a lot of the comments on that video said, yeah, my two sisters get their hair done like every month, and they straighten their hair, their hair is really long and healthy, blah de blah. Those things I start to think, oh, maybe this is something that I can do, because I can't braid, but I can. I can throw a straightener on it. And I started to do more research. I found loads of other bloggers of all different hair types um, that wear their hair straight regularly, but their hair looks incredible. It looks great, both curly or wavy and straight, and type four as well. So all of those things made me think, hmm, could this be something that I could potentially do and have success with? Now, the last reason that I kind of have chosen to go down this avenue is vanity. Pure vanity. That's it. I'm getting married in July. I am getting married in July, okay? And I want to style my hair in ways that would require some form of heat or some form of styling, I've talked about it already. The style that I want for my wedding, I need my hair this length, this length or longer. And now we're in this situation. I've not been able to go and do the hair trials that I wanted to do because it's not safe to do so. And I can't do hair. That's another thing. And this is what I mean about this video, it's gonna be here, there and everywhere, but I would get so many requests to style hair, like, can you show us some hairstyles? Hairstyles, hairstyles. And I knew full well that I wasn't that good at hairstyling, but I did it anyway, because I thought that's what people wanted. And then people would just like cuss me out because the hairstyles were crap. So because I know how I want my hair styled for my wedding, and if I am gonna have to do it myself, it's easier for me to do it whilst my hair is straighter. The styles that I want are easier to do when my hair is straighter, or done through a roller set, but again, that's another style that I'm just not gonna be super good at. I can't perfect that. I don't have those skills, and I need to learn now to accept my weaknesses and work with my strengths. The things that I definitely notice about my hair is it loves being left alone. Quite a lot of people that have type four hair would say the same. It also, as I say with vanity, I just don't like certain styles on me. I just don't. We should all have the right to feel confident in whatever hairstyle we've got and certain styles I don't like on myself. I really love braid outs, love them, but it's a lot of manipulation. So I decided to become a straight haired natural. So the end of March, beginning of April, I straightened my hair. And then two weeks later, because my scalp was so bad, I talked, I think I mentioned it in the braid video, but I don't know, being in quarantine or whatever, but my scalp is just so dry and flaky. So I couldn't last longer than two weeks that first stint. So I went two weeks, washed, straightened my hair. After that, I've lasted three weeks, which has brought us to May. And this morning I washed, blow dried, straightened my hair. So I'm on the third kind of cycle, if you will. But here is my regimen plan. I want to wash and straighten my hair once a month. Once a month. And 
if possible, what I'll do for the second month, put my hair in box braids because my hair seems to flourish in box braids. Being left alone, it's easy for me to moisturise, the style looks cute, sleep on it, go to work, don't have to worry about it, yeah? So these are the kind of styles that I'm preferring. They're styles that either can be done by someone or I can do and are just so low manipulation and they keep the hair stretched and I can keep it protected. Then I'll take them out, wash, straighten again. I wanna be really clear on this because I do not refer to my hair as heat trained. I prefer just calling it like, I have natural hair, but I just wear it straight, straight hair natural. That's preferable to me. If you wish to call my hair damaged, I actually don't mind because my hair is looser. Absolutely, it's not healthy, it's not I mean it's healthy but it's not the way that it was right so I don't mind you guys calling it that but I do have an issue with heat trained and don't get me wrong not everyone succeeds at this because I do see a lot of people that straighten their natural hair really really regularly and they don't retain much length or their curly hair doesn't look curly anymore though I am definitely aware that there is a fine line between the two and that's why I'm not going down the heat training thing. I straighten my hair, I don't do any touch ups whatsoever. So if my edges start to go, who cares? I mean you can see already I don't straighten it like bone straight either, I just straighten it to kind of keep it stretched and wearable. And then as the weeks go on I put my hair up into a bun. And I still moisturise and seal but as I say I'll put that in another video. To be honest, the way that it's going, and hopefully if we get out of here, my hair will kind of be straight every couple of months which some people do already to get their hair trimmed and what have you. For the first time in a long time, I love my hair. When I first went natural, I loved it. I, you couldn't tell me nothing. I loved my natural hair, loved it. Because I think it was shorter, it was low maintenance, it was super easy, fluff it up, face framing, I absolutely loved it and then we're getting to years three four and a half where I'm starting to struggle I'm, I'm finding it difficult to retain length I'm dealing with a lot more single strand knots the styles are coming out different I'm having to style my hair differently it's taking a lot longer to do that's where I started to falter off and then the damage came and that really really threw me off kilter and I started to dislike my hair but now I'm feeling that versatility. I wash my hair this morning every, I had coils everywhere. I had coils everywhere and I just thought, I really love my hair. I love the fact that right now I can swing in a twist out when I have more time. And when I feel like it, I can straighten my hair. I'm loving the versatility. I'm loving the low manipulation. I'm loving the stretch style and ease. And I feel happy to feel that way after not feeling that way because I felt like why is it everybody else can kind of grow their hair and mine just didn't seem to want to. This might change, nothing's forever, humans, especially me, we're flexible, we're movable, I might wake up tomorrow and say you know what actually I'm just gonna big chop and start again. Who cares, that's realistic. I can't come on here 12 years from now with long ass hair and then say yes look at my long hair uh -huh. it took nothing to get here absolutely nothing you know <laughs> also um let me just show you my hair <laughs> it needs a trim we're in lockdown okay you know if i could i would i got alex we we did it together actually alex and i did try i followed that brad mondo um how to cut your own hair at home thing i'll leave it down below and I trimmed a little bit too much at the front and then Alex helped me sort of sort out the back but it still does need a trim. So yeah, I don't straighten my hair to be bone straight. Can you see? I hope so. Hope you can see. And you know, she's got flow and movement. I don't straighten it to be bone straight. I, I'm not going on that silk press vibe. Um, I still, <laughs> years and years later, need to go to a professional I really do to have someone wash my hair so I'll probably go there to have a proper silk press one day but yeah but 
that's that's on that. I don't think there's anything else to share with you. This is the regimen I'm currently doing. I'm not telling anyone else to do it at all. At all. Seems to so far actually be working for me. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> if you stuck around, and I'll see you on the next video. I'll be in the same top. Bye.